Uh, good morning, everyone, uh, and welcome. Thank you for being here. Uh, my name is Bob Cohn, and I'm delighted uh, to welcome you to our renewal summit here at uh, the Impact Hub DC. Um, thanks for being here. We're going to have a terrific morning together. I know it's going to be great. Today's event is the culmination of the Atlantic's Renewal Series, a program that took us across the nation over the last year to examine the surge of local problem solving that's taking place and shaping the, the future of the country. Uh, one theme that we keep discovering is while there's dithering and fighting and a sense of brokenness in Washington, the real action is often at the local level where entrepreneurs are finding creative solutions to the most pressing challenges facing our communities. So here we are today in our nation's capital to hear the stories of renewal that are taking place across the country and to discuss what national leaders can learn from local leaders about, you know, getting things done. We're also going to unveil this year's Renewal Awards winners, five organizations that are leading this grassroots approach to innovation and to leadership. Selecting these winners from nearly 500, ent 500 entries was a huge task that was, for the judging panel, incredibly gratifying. We're going to talk more about the awards and hear from the award winners later this morning. I will say that I had a chance to meet the winners yesterday and I found that the conversation with, with them was uh, inspiring and humbling, and I think uh, you'll enjoy it very much. I want to sincerely thank our partner and underwriter, Allstate, for making possible this event, the Renewal Series, the Renewal Awards. We at The Atlantic are grateful to uh, the Allstate team for its support over many years and for its vision to focus on the topic of community renewal. So let's dive in. I mentioned that The Atlantic has been traveling across the country with Allstate talking about American renewal. In 2016, we went to Charlotte, we went to Cleveland, we went to Phoenix, and we heard firsthand about the fresh ideas that are being hatched in these cities and how those ideas are changing life on the ground. So to set us up for our conversation this morning, we're going to look at a very brief video uh, somewhere right there, uh, uh, that, uh, the highlights from the 2016 renewal series. In your swearing-in speech, you said, we cannot endure as a city of haves and have-nots. How is the city doing on meeting with us? You've done your homework. Mm, a little bit. <laughs> we have to be a city, a county, a, a place, uh, a nation that's not driven by fear. Fourth fastest growing city in America, yeah. so something good right. is happening. There is economic opportunity. We have many states that are still controlled by largely by rural mm -hmm. legislators. And there are different needs. You know, we're not one size fits all country. And this I think is a great challenge in America is how do we convey that it's okay to be different. You know, we're, we're coming back here to show people that it's cool to move back here, it's safe to move back here, and I can pick anywhere in the world to raise my kids, and I picked here. What's the report card you would give the Cleveland plan at this point? Well, if, if anybody, if you're expecting to see um, uh, complete change and in in, in, in complete enlightenment in four years, it's not going to happen. This is work. We have amazing people here and amazing talent here, and I hate to hear the story of all these people leaving Phoenix because it sucks. It doesn't suck. Our economy is doing great. Our unemployment rate is below the state average. Instead of preempting us, I suggest that our friends in the legislature learn from us. All right, so we really enjoyed uh, those trips to Charlotte and Cleveland and Phoenix. I think proof that there's a lot happening in terms of innovation and fermentation at the local level. This year, the Renewal Series continues with stops in Pittsburgh and Seattle. 
Uh, okay, let's get started uh, with a few uh, practical notes. Please do silence your cell phones, but don't put them away. We'd love for you to join in the conversation on social media or on Twitter at The Renewal Project. That's at The Renewal Proj, P-R-O-J, and use the hashtag Renewal Awards. We also want you to be part of the conversation here in the room. We'll have time for your questions throughout the morning, so uh, please don't be shy and uh, look for the mics at the right time. And at the end of the program, we invite you to stay for lunch beginning around noon uh, to celebrate our Renewal Award winners and to meet and talk with some of the, uh, the winners themselves. Uh, so please do stick around for that. Uh, and now let's get the conversation rolling. Our first two guests are experts on the relationship between Washington and state capitals because they've been on both ends of the conversation. John Hoven, a Republican senator from North Dakota, is the former governor of that state. And Joe Manchin, a Democratic senator from West Virginia, is the former governor of that state. And they're joining conversation with my colleague, Ron Brownstein, the governor of no state as far as I know, <laughs> but the senior editor of The Atlantic. So uh, thank you very much. Thank you. 